Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So, if you're a diehard Mizuno fan, you are probably realizing there's a new lineup of irons coming out in early 2024. And you're absolutely right. The new lineup of the Mizuno Pro, we've got a 241, a 243, and a 245 models. Now, we're going to give you a first look, sneak peek in terms of the looks of these irons and also the technology involved in this video. Now, this video is a little bit different from the others because I haven't actually got the irons in my hands. This is October 2023 as I'm filming this really early. Early prior to launch and the reason I can provide you these infos because normally we would have to wait for an embargo before we can release images test our products to then put out for you guys on YouTube but the reason I can provide this video early in terms of look of the irons the sneak peek the technology a little bit of story behind the new lineup of the Mizuno pros is purely because they're having a split global launch so Asia is launching first with Europe and US following in early 2024 so Mizuno has given us permission to release the images and let you guys have a look and get you a little bit of a flavor of what's going to be coming. So as you know, we had the lineup of the 221, the 223 and the 225. Fantastic range, as we all know, the feel of the Mizuno is superb, the looks have been fantastic. The blade, the sort of mid cavity and then that hollow construction in the 225. With the 225 for me, personally through our fittings, has been the most popular, I would say, for most golfers. So the new lineup of the Mizuno Pro is basically replacing those, they modified them a little bit. And there's a little bit of a backstory to the new lineup. And we know Mizuno make fantastic kinds. The grain flow forging is there sort of unique element to their forging process and that isn't going to be changing into this new lineup but what they are doing is their R&D department is working much closely now with the forging plant in Japan and they have done for several years but more so now in terms of introducing a little bit more technology and matching that and uh, combining that with the traditional forging process to give you the beautiful forged look feel but with some better tech inside the body of these new irons. Welcome to Mizuno's new age of forging. Mizuno and Chuo Kogyo, we've been doing this for an awful long time, over 50 years. And we've been able to develop game improvement technology within classical forged irons, but they have all that hidden performance inside. Being able to kind of push the limits in terms of manufacturability, push the limits in terms of uh, what we're able to do in the virtual world and 3D CAD world and simulation world, uh, to be able to bring all those together to really just optimize the design. We're able to achieve the performance because of the refinements in the forging process and because of the ability to forge these new materials. 10, 15, 20 years ago, the argument back then was really kind of forge versus cast. Now I think the conversation has turned to forge versus forged. So let's take a look at the different models that Mizuno are offering and go a little bit deep and see what's happening in each particular model. So we'll start off with the 241, the pure muscle back iron, the pure blade. And this iron is a pure shot maker's iron. It looks absolutely stunning, as you're gonna expect from Mizuno. They always make quality looking products. And the design of this has had some huge input from the tour players, which makes sense to what I'm gonna run through with this iron changes. So let's take a look at the differences between the new four, 241 against the 221. So in the long irons, they are fractionally smaller and thinner. And the short to mid irons are noticeably smaller in the head and also thinner on that top line. So much more of a neater looking uh, appearance behind that golf ball is what Mizuno is saying. And then on top of that, again, with a bladed iron, you can't really do huge amounts of the head, but they've placed a little bit more mass behind that center hitting area to give you more of that solid contact and that buttery feel. And as always, we're gonna see that grain flow forge HD uh, material there obviously forging in Japan. We've got that soft copper underlay that we've seen in previous models to give you that really nice sort of feel. There's a much thinner tour preferred top line. This is where the influence of those tour players have probably had their input in this, this iron on the way they would like it to look. Thinner top line from the previous model. This is probably gonna look pretty small behind that golf ball, very slim slither of metal. So this is really gonna be for your ultimate ball strikers here, the golf who really wants to shape the shot. So as I say, more compact in those mid to short irons. We've got a bigger bounce throughout the whole set now for that probably that turf interaction. And we've got a beautiful satin finish on these irons as well. They look incredible. And then just quickly looking at the specs that looks like it's gonna be coming out. We've got three iron to pitch and wedge available in right hand. Left hand, it looks like four iron to pitch and wedge only. The loft in that seven iron is coming at 34 degrees. That's probably what we would expect to sort of see in those loftings, so true traditional loftings in a way. 
We can see that bounce angle in the red across there has just increased slightly from the previous model, as we just mentioned. But all in all, they look a really clean, beautiful looking set of golf clubs. So moving on to the next model, the 243. So obviously this is replacing the 223. So this is a, what Mazzino was saying, a little bit more tall speed off that club face. So probably for the golf who's looking for that real beautiful tall looks, but wants that a little bit faster, maybe a little bit more forgiveness off that club face. This could be the iron for you. And as you expect, this iron just features a little bit more tech to help you get that ball speed up. So we're seeing some micro slots in these irons, and not in all of them, and but we do see them some, and they get a little bit wider in those longer irons just to help with that little bit of launch and a bit faster ball speed off the club face. So a little bit of a rebound area. You don't physically see it, but it's inside the bottom of the actual head itself. And again, the story of this smaller, compact, thinner top line carries on into this 243. Mizuno is saying a more noticeable compact head, thinner top line from the previous model. They've also done some work again on the soles and the grinds of these irons again through the whole set that progress slightly. So again, a big area in terms of this turf interaction is what I'm guessing they're sort of looking at. So what we expected to see out of this iron from the previous model again is a little bit more high launch, a little bit more ball speed and a few more extra yards just purely through that technology coming off of that thinner hotter club face but as always we've got the grain flow forging beautiful fields i'm guessing we're going to see again i'm getting these uh, samples uh, hopefully before maybe christmas time to then put our um, review video out early in january obviously with all the data numbers and my personal looks of the, the field the performance of the golf club and again maybe which set you might go and look to get so spec-wise in the 243, we're seeing the 7-iron loft coming in at 32 degrees, which is obviously a couple of degrees stronger than we've just seen in that 241. So great for that player who probably just wants that little bit more distance on those shots, again with that beautiful feel looks that we may be seeing that 241. And club-wise availability, we're going to look in at a 4-iron through to pitch and wedge with a gap wedge option, no 3-iron. And unfortunately for you left-handers, there's going to be no left-hand option in this particular model at all, only right hand. And finally, that takes us into the 245, so obviously replacing the 225. This for us, and I probably would say across the board, would be maybe the Mizuno's biggest seller there. I think it really ticks the box, this hollow construction iron. It looks fantastic behind that golf ball. It looks beautiful from the, from the back, very much like that blade. Just a slightly bigger appearance, but we know it's hollow inside with some help, so it creates some good forgiveness some good ball speed but with that really good feel as we sort of see from that Mizuno iron lineup. So again I would say this is going to be a hugely popular iron and again first looks of this from the pictures it looks incredible. So what's this offering maybe over and above the 243? So the 245 is going to give you that little bit higher launch, a little bit more faster ball speed than the 243 with a little bit of tungsten help inside this head probably just to really maximize your launch angle, your spin numbers uh, and really to get probably the higher and longer golf shots out there. So the pattern runs through this iron as well. What we've seen in the other two new irons is it's a little bit more compact and a little bit more of a thinner top line. But having said that, I'm guessing this will be a little bit bigger than the 243, with the 243 being obviously slightly bigger fractionally than the 241. So it's all relative, but they're all a little bit small and compact against the three previous models. So let's delve inside this head and talk a little bit about what's happening inside. So from the two iron to the eight iron, we've got a laser welded grain flow forge, 4135 Camoli neck and face, 431 stainless steel back, which is obviously a two-piece construction giving that hollow head. And then we've got a 47 gram tungsten back weight, good bit of weight in there as well. Eight iron has no tungsten for that smooth transition into the shorter irons. Then the nine iron to gap wedge, we then got that laser welded partial hollow construction. So a little bit less of the hollow uh, construction in those short scoring irons, obviously for a little bit, probably a bit more feel and a bit more precise uh, sort of spin and launch numbers. Again, grain flow forge HD 1025E body and a 17 fourth back. Plate. So the tungsten we saw in the 225 was a 30 gram piece. We're now into 47 grams. And obviously that's positioned in a certain area in those longer eyes just to help really get that launch. A bit of ease of use really in those longer eyes in terms of launching it as you just lose those lost. So a little bit more tungsten chucked deep and low in that club head. And they've also done a little bit of work on the sound. Maybe as we know with that uh, hollow construction iron, the sound can sometimes get a little bit clicky, can't it? So they've done a little bit of work on that sound, just trying to maybe dampen that a little bit again from that previous model. So a roundup, tall speed with launch is what Mizuno is saying this 245 is all about. Soft copper underlay, which we see through all of these models to give that beautiful feel. Harmonic impact technology, controlling the sound in this iron. 
traditional blade appearance, which I think is a really important one for the golfer who wants to maybe come out of that JPX range and maybe the game progresses into the Mizuno Pro lineup, it's a beautiful transition iron. And a little bit of that, again, that increased bounce angle for that turf interaction. So lineup in the two, four, five, we've seen a two iron all the way through to pitch and wedge with a gap wedge. The two and three iron are right hand only, so you can't get left hand in the two and the three iron. So obviously for you lefties, we've got four iron through to gap wedge availability. So the loft in the seven iron is coming in at 30 degrees. So very similar to what we saw in the previous model and ties in nicely from the other two models we've just talked about. So probably for the golf who just wants that little bit more ball speed, a little bit more launch, a little bit more forgiveness, but with that beautiful look, the 245 is, would be a fantastic option. Okay, so there we go with a new lineup. Obviously, I would love to bring you a video with these in my hands, hitting them and giving you my first instincts of the looks and the feels. But as I say, this video has actually come really, really early. So you're probably thinking, oh yes, there's a new lineup on the horizon. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of information, some understanding of what's to come. As soon as I get the samples from Mizuno, I will be testing and putting that video out, which I believe the embargo lists early January for Europe and US. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Appreciate you watching. Hope to catch up with you all very soon.